Konami just re-released the very first Yu-Gi-Oh! booster packs, like Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders, Spell Ruler, and Pharaoh's Servant. Trell and I wanted to have a classic duel with a bit of a twist, so we went to our local card shop and decided to each open a box of Invasion of Chaos. It introduced the infamous Blackluster Soldier Envoy at the beginning and Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the end, plus some much stronger cards than what you find in the first Yu-Gi-Oh! sets. Maybe we'll even pull them. So let's find out which duelist will come out on top in this chaotic duel. All right guys, so I'm gonna open my Invasion of Chaos box. I am pretty excited just because um, this is like the first kind of power creep Yu-Gi-Oh set people always say. They're like, yeah, this is the first time that, you know, really strong like boss cards came out, Chaos Emperor, all that stuff. All right. So first card's Jade Insect Whistle. Oh, Chaos Sorcerer in the first pack? Free the Brave Wanderer, okay. I don't know how many light monsters are actually in this set. I know there's a lot of dark monsters in this set. A lot of decent single tribute monsters uh, in these in these sets. Remember back in the day when it was only like Summon Skull and then like maybe Jinzo and Pharaoh Servant, but this set has a lot of like just 2400 stuff that has like decent effects. Fenrir can actually stop your opponent's next draw phase, but you have to remove two waters in your grave from play and has to destroy a monster in battle. It's only 14. So, like, exactly how good this will be remains to be seen. Smashing Ground's a good removal. This is all good news, but, like, I've gone several packs. I still don't have other foils, so that's kind of a concern. Molten Zombie Destruction Ring. Orca Mega Fortress of Darkness. Tribute to Torpedo Fish. Hmm. Interesting. Grand Machi, one of my favorites. Even to this day. Granadora, 1900 attack. Pretty nice. You can definitely tell that the stats of the monsters in this set in particular are a lot more like solid. A lot of like 18, 1900 attackers. We can resolve a self-destruct button. We get our first draw on camera. That'd be something. Oh, okay. Ultra rare insect princess. Uh. All right, we're on the next side of the box. Three foils so far, no secrets yet. That would be, be nice if I could get one of those. Enraged by Lacta, super rare trap jammer. Negates a trap card during the battle phase specifically. Few packs left. Come on, like one chaos monster that's not chaos sorcerer, please. <gasps> a secret rare invader of darkness. I would have preferred, personally, the chaos emperor dragon. Chaos sorcerer again. Dedication through light and darkness. Tribute to dark magician summon a dark magician of chaos from hand deck or grave. It'd be great if I could pull one. Would maybe be. That might make this a little more helpful, but certainly brings back memories. Lord Poison, I remember using this in a plant deck as a kid, actually. And Levia Dragon Daedalus. Hmm. I don't think Yumi's in this set. Okay, final pack. Anything good, please be something of note. All I wanted was a Chaos Emperor Dragon, okay? Jesus. Ryu Koki, Didi Borderline, Goblin. Okay, a decent final card, Compulsory Evacuation Device. I'll take it. Um, Gale yeah, Lizard's okay too. So yeah, these are my foils. Uh, not too bad. I mean, certainly some cool cards. I, like I said, would have liked to have a, you know, Chaos Monster or two, but uh, we'll see what we can do, we'll make do. We should know most of the cards in this set, so I'm not gonna take too much time opening. If I come across something cool, we'll stop from there. I gotta free the Brave Wanderer, it's not a bad start. I remember Second Crane was meta. Second Crane was crazy. When you spend something in the graveyard, you draw a card. And... When you spend something in period, I can't remember if you spend something in the graveyard, just spend something in period. We're not gonna go back, we're gonna keep going. I used to try to use this card. Grand the door was crazy. Just being 1900 attack was enough. If you ever wanted to make a deck out of a box, this is a pretty good start. So this is definitely something you got to try out, you know, with your friends. Get together, buy a couple boxes. This guy. So we started off with higher boost tonight. He attacks twice. But then we got this guy who was stronger. He attacked twice and control of him could not switch. And not that the last part mattered, but it kind of did because Snatch Steel was a thing. And I think we said change of heart. Uh, Snatch Steel, change of heart, and brain control. So you clip him with the Axe of Despair, you swing it in for bunches. And they couldn't take him, so they had to try to kill him. I remember trying to use all these fish cards too. Like, Early Yu-Gi-Oh! was definitely innovation. Now granted, it was mostly caveman, so whoever had the bigger card, you know, won. But it was definitely innovation, because you had to make some of these cards that didn't make any sense work. Up oh, there you go. You start with this, you feel pretty good. I remember I tried using this guy. It's like tribute something off to pop a card or something like this. You have tribute a cannonball spear shellfish. 
destroy one spell trap card in the field. I don't know why I thought that would have been good, but I gave it a shot. It's a very fishy set, by the way. And the water is wet. Uh-oh, uh-oh. So we got the Jalaka. Oh, got your boy. Is this Dedalus? Yes. Levi Dragon. Dedalus. Ultra rare. All right, it's half the box gone. Not gonna lie, y'all, my, my, my pool's looking a little straggly. Uh, that means all the good stuff is on this side over here. Do the designator. Okay, then, I will see. I need you to do me better than you're doing me right now. Okay, there's one secret. And this card likes me. Hmm. Invader of Darkness. Reload, okay. If I can pull off self-destruct button, I'm gonna do it for the lows. You know what I'm saying, you gotta, you gotta flex, you gotta flex. We're down to the last few packs, you guys. I um, don't remember ratios of things. I'm not sure if ratios have changed with the re-release of the set. Mmm, mmm. Card name's Joan. This the one? When this card shows the monster by battle since the graveyard, gain life points equal to that monster's original attack in the graveyard. Which means it has to go to the graveyard for you to get to that. Alright, you guys, last pack. Here we go. We're doing the thing again. Here we go, here we go. Didn't cut it, y'all. Tower of Battle. But that is my box. Let's show y'all what I got one more time. Pools wasn't that great, at least for not, not for collectability, but for deck building. Just fine. Okay, Joel, I have, an, I have an idea to make this a little more interesting. What you got? Here's my idea, because neither of us pulled a Chaos Monster in all of our cards. Why don't we just, uh, just put these, uh, you know, and put these two in here. What do you think? Yeah, maybe make this a little more fun. I like it. Like, Whoever high, highest roll gets to pick. Gets to pick I mean, I, yeah, I gets to I pick which care, one they but, want. Yeah. I got a one. Oh, uh, I got a six. So you get I'm to a, pick. I'm afraid because they're both really good. Um, I'm going to take the soldier, the okay. old boy of the, of, okay. of, of the beginning. All right, I'm, I'm scared. I'll take Chaos Simper. Of course I mean, you. I mean, kind of busted. Either one's pretty busted. Yeah, they're, they're pretty they're good. They're both pretty, like, you know. Yeah, we thought we would just make this duel a little more interesting, right, a, you a know. A little more chaotic. A little more chaotic. You know? You gotta have a little chaos in your duels, because if Facts. Konami doesn't want to actually get anything in their boxes. <laughs> yeah, we didn't get much chaos in our boxes. Also, how did we both get this? Like, both of us. We both got that and Freed. And, 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 a, and, a, and a whale. Anyway, this, it'll be a better duel now. It That's all you be. need to know. Today's video is sponsored by Bloodline Heroes of Lithis. Download and try the game for free using my link or scan the QR code and receive an amazing starter pack worth $20. Now this game has one of the most unique gotcha gameplay mechanics I've ever seen. In Bloodline, you can mix and match the traits of different fantasy races like elves, dwarves, and even werewolves to create powerful champions. These champions inherit the physical traits of their parents as well. Bloodline's stunning visuals let you marvel at your hybrids in action and you can even use skins to further customize them. Once you get tired of PvE, take your champions to the PvP arena and earn uniquely designed Bloodcraft legends that look just as cool as they are powerful. Maybe you haven't seen a race or champion you like yet. Well, Bloodline adds a new Bloodline every two weeks, further increasing the endless hybrid combinations. Check out the latest Bloodline, the Goat Folk Stone Throwers, who originated from the lands of the Dragonborn and became the finest marksmen after finding an ancient artifact of power in the ruins of a lost civilization. Don't forget the most important thing, Bloodline Heroes of Lithis is free to play on both iOS and Android that you can download right now using my link in the description or scanning the QR code. When you do, you'll get the special starter pack, a $20 value for free. Also, the first 30 people who leave their in-game account ID and username in the pinned comment below will receive a free legendary female orc champion, or Grawl, one of the best warriors to carry you in the game. Thanks to Bloodline for sponsoring today's video. All right, Duelist, are you ready to get chaotic? Hopefully. We realized while building, the set doesn't have a lot of light monsters. And very few dark that are actually useful. I got a 10. Four is Got a four. All right, I'm that taking the first time. move. All right, y'all hit the fog this first move. Man, we draw for the first time. So yeah, we're going to use our old school. So I'm scared. And old school rules. It's not like I have any hand traps to stop anything he's going to do. All right, well, I set one card face down, and I'll pass my turn. Look, I know what it is. Just like, that's what it turns Yeah, turn. that, that's one thing about this is like, you kind of knowing the set means you kind of can guess what like most set cards are. So I'm going to do something. You ready? Okay. While I have the chance. Yeah, let's do it. I'm going to activate Stray Lambs. Give myself two tokens. Oh, huh? Just because okay. you have a monster on board. Oh, wait, I actually have tokens <laughs> for this oh, now. Hey, I have. Kaiba's here to save the day. So when, uh, when I play Stray Lambs, um, 
You give me two tokens of defense. I cannot summon another monster turn, but I can set. Thank you about to tribute set? Uh, <laughs> actually, actually, I'm going to. Oh, okay. <laughs> actually, I wasn't going to, but I thought about it. I forgot I could do that. I'm going to tribute off a token and set a color, attempt to neutral against phase. Yeah, sure. In turn. I draw. Riveting play game. Yeah, this is, it's about to get. This is going to be the most chaotic. All right, I'm going to set a monster. Right. Face down. And I'll set one more card. Your move, Duelist. I'm going to draw for turn. I'm going to flip something in my real token. Okay. I'm going to flip something in my real token in the attack position. Oh, okay. What's he? Uh, Auto destroys. Oh, uh, a fiend. Oh, no, no, no. Fiend a fiend or warrior. Warrior spellcaster. Warrior spellcaster. Guess what form was fiend and zombies. So he's, okay. uh, he's warrior spellcaster. It's at the end of the damage step. Yeah. Because um, they're enemies. I'm going to move towards battle, though, because I'm not scared. I'm going to swing. Battle's been moved towards. Okay, yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm going to attempt to swing, though. Yeah, it's dead. Oh, You wow. hit Soul Tiger. Yes, main phase two, I'm going to set a card. I'm going to say go. All right, well, I draw one card. I activate my Smashing Ground. It destroys your monster with the highest defense. I'm thinking. Do you have Book of Moon? I'm thinking. <laughs> so I'm, I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. Wait, how much defense is this at? Zero. Z okay. I'm pretty sure that's zero. That's fine. I didn't want it to be fine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, that's just great, because now I can banish my soul tiger. No way! To summon my Gigantes. <laughs> this is crazy. I opened with him, and I didn't have soul tiger, so. This was, all right. Enter battle phase. Mm -hmm. Gigantes attacks your token. That's fine. Your move. My turn? Your move. Oh, you definitely did a lot. I'm going to set a card here, and I'm going to... Yeah, it's I didn't draw. All right, I'm gonna enter the battle phase. Gigantes will attack your face down monster. Yo, lizard, oh, for Christ's sake! Bounce <laughs> it back to your hand. <sighs> oh, you get to use it again. Eventually. Eventually. <laughs> eventually. eventually. Okay, I will go to main phase two. I'll normal summon my sacred crane and set another card face down. Okay. Your move, duelist. I'm gonna drop a turn. I'm gonna normal summon uh, Free the Brave Wanderer. I'm gonna attempt to swing with 1700 at your 1600. I activate my zero gravity to fun. change us all to defense position. Go ahead, do it. Draw. Go ahead, oh, what an interesting draw. All right, I'll change my sacred crane to attack position. Sure. I'm gonna attack your Free the Brave Wanderer with 1600. I have four. Thanks to your Gale Lizard. Yeah, I'm a step. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Energy drain. So I put some 2,000. Okay, yeah, I take 400. All right, well, I survived. It could have been worse. Your move. Draw the turn. Oh, for Christ's sake. You know what's on my own? Attempt to swing with the free, the brave wonder. 1,700 attack. All right, so in damage step, I'll activate my energy hey! drain. Hey, How many cards three. are in your hand? Three. You got three. Okay, so I go up by 600. Uh, so you're 22. So I'm 22. I take 500. In. I draw. In. I'm gonna summon Free the Brave Wanderer. Oh my god. <laughs> we pulled the same foils out of our packs. Yeah, let's do this. Thanks, Konami. Enter battle. Sure. Free will attack Sacred Crane. And then I'll attack you directly with Sacred Crane for 16. I'm gonna main phase two and set one card phase down in my turn. Drop turn. You want to summon uh, Berserk Gorilla? Attempt to swing at the Free the Brave Wanderer. I'll take three. He's destroyed. Main phase two and set two cards. Draw. I will switch my crane to defense. Set one face down. Draw the turn. I. Oh, what do you have? <laughs> Point two. What are you? What are you say doing? light in the dark. Cause I'm oh, gonna set you up since the beginning of this game. <laughs> to special summon my chaos. Oh my lord! <laughs> Black dude. soldier, oh boy of the beginning. Okay. <laughs> oh Jesus. Okay. And. I'm going to activate its effect to mm -hmm. banish your face down monster. Banish my Mataja the Zap. Move towards battle. Yeah. With the Berserk Riddle attempt to attack into the uh, Sacred Crane. I activate my Zero Gravity to change all the monsters' battle positions. Wow. And you know what that means. means. So when Berserk Riddle goes to defense, you guys, uh, it gets you destroyed, get destroyed. Out of by its own effect in turn. That was rude. I use my smashing ground. I'm gonna make a compulsory evacuation. Oh, device. for Christ's sake. <laughs> Bounce it back to my hand. Sacred Crane, attack for 1600. Mm -hmm. Set a card face down. You're still gonna win, I don't have anything. I mean, you say that, yeah, but. I don't know if See, there's your dark monster <laughs> right there. I'm gonna attempt to swing at your bird for 
1700 attack. All right, an attack nerf glacier when you use my Begone Nave. Sacred Cranes is where I take 100. Your monster gets returned to the hand. Good. So we're getting somewhere. Set, pass. Draw. Summon. Yeah. Fast. <laughs> Draw. I will set a monster. Mm -hmm. and pass. Draw for turn. Tribute. Rude. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> Some of these things. I don't have. Okay, Fantasy. yeah. <laughs> you banished my Chaos Necromancer. That was a, a potential dark monster. 24. Yeah. Set a card. Go ahead. Draw. I pass my turn. Draw. 15. Yeah, put him back. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Draw for turn. I'm tripping. Alright, I'm gonna set a card face now. Your move duels. Draw for turn. Rude dude. I'm gonna try. Attempt okay. to towards battle. Yeah, battle entered. Uh, 15 with the uh, hammerhead. I'll use zero gravity. Same turn. I draw. I'll set a card face down. I'll normal summon Mad Dog of Darkness. I'm gonna attack your hat for hammerhead. I'm gonna chain. Oh? A hero emerges. What the hell? What is that? <laughs> when an opponent's monster declares an attack, your opponent chooses one random card from your hand. If it's a monster that can be special summoned, special summoned, otherwise send it to the graveyard. I. We'll use my trap jammer. Ooh. Negate that trap. Zero gravity. <laughs> they are switched. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end my turn. Drop turn. Alright, in the stand, I'm using compulse. Oh, uh, he, he can do it. I don't know. I don't want their dog to go to grave. I, 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 I know I, the fear. <laughs> yeah, no, I guess. Their dog to go to grave. Yeah, you never know. I what, just grow. I don't is, know. Could the chaos be in my hand? Will the chaos emerge and. Take control of this duel. Alright, the well, Rico is gonna just kill it. Mad dog of darkness. Set one card. I draw. Alright, duels, are you ready? Oh, God. For the chaos to begin. I, know, but, okay. I banish one light and one dark monster from my grave. He's been waiting. He's been waiting. A special summon. The almighty Chaos Emperor Dragon Envoy of the End. I gotta end my turn. <laughs> what do you mean? I mean, I because because if I attack, I get bounced. But like, this will put put me in a top deck war, and I'll have like twenty three hundred. Oh yeah, okay. You guys, you fell into my trap. I don't think I was winning either way. And they smashing grab. Oh monster! <laughs> I should have just done it. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh fine, yes. fine. Move towards battle. <laughs> Too much I mean, I mean, I mean, I Fine, yeah, that'll, that'll be enough. That'll be enough? Yeah, that should <laughs> kill me. <laughs> Alright, I'm going first duelist. That's fine. Alright, you guys game two. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Let's get it. Alright, I'm going to set monster face now. He did that really fast. He did that really set fast, this card, your move. And I, there's no no cross out here either. So, I'm going to summon uh, Hyper Hammerhead. I'm going to uh, swing into the face of monster. I'm going to use... My zero gravity. Are you serious? Switch these monsters to defense. Sit one and say go. You wild for that. I draw. You wild for that. I draw. All right. Stealth bird. I flip it wow. face up. <laughs> Deal 1,000 damage to you. Oh, that's real. That is funny, bro. And then. Oh, my God. I'll normal summon my Mataza the Zapper. I'll attack your hyper hammer head. That was crazy, I know. Mm. <laughs> that was crazy. I had know. a feeling. <laughs> that was crazy. Okay. Stealth Bird's gonna use its effect. I bet it is. Go back down, and I set one card. Yep. Your moon duels. Oh, Sacred Crane duels. Moving towards. Okay. Uh, crane will attempt to attack the monitors out of Zap. I'll use another zero gravity. I knew it. I knew I'll it. Use zero I gravity. knew it. Yeah. I can't live that turn without it. So <laughs> I, can't live I really can't. Go ahead. The real MVP card was just zero yeah. gravity the whole time. Thanks. Draw for turn. I'm glad I knew what I was gonna do before. Uh -oh. I didn't come in clutch. Huh? Well, I was, I was gonna try something that was like funny, but a little cheeky. Yeah, but. It I flip up my stealth bird and cheeky. go a thousand. Cheeky? You want to talk about cheeky? <laughs> One thousand damage. Your bird's better than my bird in this game right now. Oh wow, they both, oh my god. Stealth bird will attack your sacred wow, crane. Wow, I just realized that. And Mataza will attack Hyper Hammerhead and then get yeah. bounced back to the hand. Wow, I just realized that. Stealth bird activate effect and made this too? Sure. Drop a turn. Stray lambs. Oh boy. Don't worry, I'm just going to set both of them. <laughs> I set one card. <laughs> what is that? What is, what, what is this card? Hmm. It doesn't matter. Go ahead. He's like, wait a minute. I'm draw for turn. We're just going to flip it face up, deal a thousand. Stealth stroke, but. Alright, we're going to switch this back to the stuff. 
we gonna set another monster and pass turn. Let's see what it is. Oh, okay. Guardian Angel Joan? No, I'm summoning Hyper Hammer Head. Jesus Christ, that thing's annoying. My kids. Hyper Hammer Head's gonna attack the fake down still for I'll take 200, but bounce it back to the hand. Boy. And Guardian Angel Joan will attack the fake down monster here. It's Mataza the Zapper. I'll gain 1300. In phase. Yeah. In turn. Yeah. I'll normal summon my sacred crane. I'll attack your Guardian Angel Joan. Technically, you're attacking Guardian Angel Joan? Mm hmm. Oh, you need a dark. Um, uh, I'm a lightning grave. We're going to go ahead and zero gravity. Wow. We're just going to go ahead and zero gravity. I just thought about it. You need a lightning. You need a light. You need a light and a grave. <laughs> I'm like, why would you crash? Oh. I passed my turn. Drop a turn. Move towards battle. I'll kill it and gain 1,600 life points. And then I'll attack you for 15. You're just negating all the work that my stealth bird put in. Yes, yeah. I am. My stealth bird. Yeah, I'm actually straight lambs. Phase <laughs> two, tribute one for this. What the? Hell? You have these <laughs> I can't weird little, summon. these weird tribute I can't set summon. monsters. I can't summon it. I'm gonna set a card. I have one card in hand. Go ahead. Like I said, you just gonna get to drag me anyway. So at this point, I might as well just hmm. try, to, try to protect myself, or, or try to like make a push if you don't kill me completely. All right, I'll banish a light and a dark monster. From my graveyard. Special summon my Chaos Sorcerer. Oh, Sorcerer. Normal summon my Blazing Empachi in attack mode. I will activate the effect of Chaos Sorcerer and banish Guardian Angel Joan. Blazing Empachi will attack half her hammerhead. And I'll take 350? 350. And then I get bounced. I'll set a card face down in my turn. I'm going to drop a turn. All right, let's see what it is. Let's summon uh, Giga I'm gonna tribute my other token for a Giga Gaga Giga. Oh, okay. I'm gonna sit for it because you have a trap card and you can attack. Twin with the Giga Gaga Giga, this one for 2450 over 2300. And then I'm gonna attack you for another 2450. Fine. <laughs> Fine, duelist. Fine. Uh, in phase. Uh, actually, main phase, so I'm gonna exceed until uh, rank 5. Okay. Oh, really? That's right. That's right. Draw for turn. And we're gonna set a card face down. And set another card face down. And we're gonna pass our turn. Draw for turn. I'm going to summon my third hyper hammer. <laughs> what? Why do you have three? I thought you had like two. I don't I think I put exactly a single three. one. I, put exactly I feel like three. I didn't post it. Did I pull one and I just ignored it? Probably. 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 You get players, y'all. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> With the Giga Gaga Gigo, this one, I will attack your face down monster. I'll use my zero gravity. gravity. I knew it. I knew Switch it. these I monsters it. to defense position. Flipping new it. In phase, in turn. Draw. All right, I'm going to oh. flip up Stealth Bird, deal with, <laughs> gonna get back to this uh, thousand life points thing. <laughs> Normal summon Sacred Crane. Okay. Sacred Crane's gonna attack a Giga Gaga Ego. Sure. Then I'll use Stealth Bird's effect, Let's switch it back to defense. And then my turn. You most certainly can. You most certainly can, Duelist. Mm. Attack it to the bird first with the Giga, the Giga Gaga Ego. I use Compulse on Giga Gaga Giga. This will attack your face down. I'll take 200. This will return to my hand. We're gonna uh, smash and ground the bird. All right, so well, here we go. Let's do it, baby. Here we go, Duelist. I banish a light and a dark yeah, monster. For the chaos. I know he's gonna do that. I know he's gonna do that anyway. The chaos to ensue with my Chaos Emperor Dragon, sure. Envoy of the End. I'll pay 1,000 of my life points. Send everything to the graveyard. So I have one and then five cards in hand, so I've got six. six. Seven, eight, 24. Eight, so 2,400. Everything goes. All right. All right, your move. I'm just leaving it. Leaving it to, it, leaving it to top decks. All right, if you get a monster, I'm just screwed. Ah! ah, no. OK, well, this sucks. Moving towards battle, baby. Battle entered. It's because y'all believe. 1850. Yeah, well. Go ahead. Let's draw. Oh, God. All right, good game. <laughs> it's like a good game. What'd you get? I got an invader. Oh. Yes. Cool. Well, good game. It was fun. It was a, little more, a little more chaotic than uh your average classic Yu Gi Oh game. Yeah. Oh yeah, I guess we'll quickly show oh, you yeah, guys show if you just yeah. kind of want to see. I mean, like it's these decks are gonna be remarkably similar. Yeah, our, our decks are very similar, y'all. Like literally, there's only so many good cards in here, so we chose the best of them. Yeah, we tried our best. It was cool though. I think a fun, enjoyable game. 
Uh, we both got to summon our chaos monsters. Yeah, a lot of chaos happened. Yeah, yeah, a lot Some of chaos, chaos sorcerers. And that was all. Blackluster right. soldiers. Oh, yeah, we, you, you gotta force the light monsters sure. in these. So. All right, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let us know what is your favorite classic Yu-Gi-Oh set. For sure. And what is your favorite card out of one? That's a good question, too. Um, I think my favorite classic set, what's yours? Uh, well, actually, it's either this or Flaming Eternity, but most likely, I'm pretty sure it's probably this. Uh, the Dark Magician of Chaos, which is one of my favorite cards of all time. For me, it's probably Pharaoh's Servant and Yijin, so. That's fair. I think that's, uh, that's always fair. a fun one. I still don't have a first I edition. Can't. Secret rare one, but one day I'll have one. All right, cool. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Pass turn. Time.